Back 10 minutes. We'll all be set up and ready for action. The best of it. Pizza. Soap and pizza. Headquarters. We're rolling. First customer, Shun. Clear. Rough shape. Encounter with a pork chop bone. More bones. God, that's terrible. <laughs> Stand by. You can see it's uh, a little different now. I buffed it up a little bit too. I got it cleaned up a little bit. He's in good shape. Yeah. A fine Sean Cleaver. Stay away from the chicken, I mean the pork chop bone. Three nice shunts. But you can see, they got lots of microchips. The little one is the worst. I've never seen a little one this quite this bad. Usually it's the bigger ones. Look like Jaws. Rogue Shark. Stand by. Well, when things are going slow, you do a cleaver and then three shuns and you're sitting around for 20 minutes and then at 11.10 you get a gathering of knives. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven knives. Saw blade crap. Look at that taquito. China. Mmm. That one's got a tip. Needs a tip on it. Another saw blade. China, Hong Kong. Oh, baby. Okay, I got to go to. Got two fancy little pocket knives from France. Never seen any of these before. I like them. Stand by. The rain is trying to catch me. It's black everywhere. Stand by. I don't want to get wet. Big old raindrops now, big old fat ones. I think the guru and the uh, rig man went to the land of Nada this morning. I'll have a report probably at the end of this to see how they made that. So far I haven't heard anything. Well, we're having a gully washer. Man, dude, he meets you at the door just like Jack. He's the only cat that comes to the door when you come home. <laughs> That's because he's starving. And that one right there is starving. Yeah, you're a hungry carnivore, I know. Wind and rain. As I was leaving, 
actually I was packing up one of the vendors guy sells uh, sauce cocktail sauce and pepper sauce he brought me a big old Dexter Cleaver he's gonna be gone for three weeks he wants me to clean it up and sharpen it big like five or six pounds you know the big old old style and some kind of Japanese knife I call it a sushi knife he bought a house he said three or four years ago and this was wrapped up in one of the kitchen drawers in newspaper people had left it I shop a few of these but not many but I like it. I'm gonna clean it up too. You see it's got some spots all over it. Probably a carbon steel knife. No, you can't tell unless you can read Japanese. And not I'm not even sure that tells you what it's made out of. But the way it looks is carbon. Carbon steel. Okay, it's a nice looking knife. I don't think it's overly fancy for a Japanese knife, but if you're going to have Japanese knives, you got to start someplace. Okay. Now these two pocket knives, I'm going to clean these up because the guy didn't want them back till later today. Because I'm home with the buffer now. And it's raining brick bats. Okay. Well, they're, <clears throat> they're all sharpened and all polished up now. I've never seen, like I said, I've never seen these knives. I'm going to research them in a minute and see what I can find out about them. But they're really nice little knives. My fancy work on them. Made in France. That's the website for the knives made in France. Now these two knives are different sizes. One's bigger than the other one. And they offer a 9 centimeter and a 12 centimeter. Well the 12 centimeter, which is this one right here, is 139 euros. I don't know how much that is in US, but and the 9 centimeter one is 95 euros. They're pretty nice little knives. They have a a gathering of knives all different kinds pretty cool stand by